Is that Karin? Or should we call him Yakumo? He really was here. I guess he woke up from his cold sleep. Wait. Some kind of device is active here. Yakumo? What's going on? There are two Karans? Why are you here? What is going on? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. I tried to travel back 2,000 years ago, but was rejected. What? Explain to me why the time travel failed. I helped you back at Arhabaki's secure site. However... You... What are you talking about? Hand over all of the information. Did he just get absorbed? Looks like I was right to worry. That's what happens when you meet yourself. I haven't the slightest clue of what's going on, but does this mean Karin failed to travel to the past? What is this memory? So I do need his power after all. Now, what are you doing in this place? We need your help to close the Kunad Gate. Please, help us. We heard what you were saying. When you traveled 2,000 years in the past, you created an entanglement. The Kunad Gate won't close as long as the entanglement still exists. So we need you to come with us so we can unravel... How tedious. I figured you'd resort to force. I guess even you couldn't maintain the red strings with your power. That's why you needed to copy it again. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. Where did you even learn about the red strings? From Arahabaki. Or, more accurately, my own memory inside it. As you saw, we are one now. So Yakumo was connected to it while in cold sleep? How could they incorporate a living human into Arahabaki? Why are you so surprised? Do you know how many brains are living connections to Arahabaki? So it was a biocomputer comprised of brains like Babe. When our brains were being hacked at Arahabaki's secure site, and there was that weird brain field... It was all done by Yakumo. By you. It seems that way. The version of me that was in cold sleep used Arahabaki to generate that brain field in order to conceal this location. So you were connected to it from here, gathering all kinds of information over the last 2,000 years without anyone even knowing. I understand why you want to time travel, but that'll just create another entanglement. So what? I'll do whatever I have to do in order to time travel again. Karin! So you have no intention of helping us. Just listen, please. I know you have your reasons, and I know there's a whole lot going on between New Himuka and the Moon. But we can't fix anything if the world ends. We need to make things right. We need to create a new future that won't bring about our destruction. This timeline isn't worth saving. I will change the past, and I will make it work this time. 
I understand that you want to save Alice, but that... I don't need you to understand. I must break you to obtain your aid! I won't let you get in the way! We're here because we've survived many battles. I need your Remembering help. our experiences should help us! It's... Thanks, Arashi! Don't 
Get caught! Mm. Get ready. Nothing left. Do something. Oh, I'm with powers. You got good? Sorry, I appreciate it. Finish it off. <laughs> I need to support the injuries. No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin! Shut up! You're all so endlessly annoying! What? Karin? Karin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <sighs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You, this world, and still. You? Get ready! Let's regroup! What the heck are these things? It looks like it appeared from within Karin. Maybe it's his memories or feelings materializing in the real world. His brain made something as ominous as that?
Ishiden? I should charge you. <laughs> Keep 
Yoda, how about this? Crush you! Do not stand up. You can't take any more. <sighs> Karin. I won't. I won't let things end here! What is this? Everyone, be careful. Something's... What? Where is everyone? Kasane! Answer me! Damn it. SAS and Brainshawk are both offline. I'm going to save you, Alice. I promise! What's happening? At this rate... No, calm down. Everyone is probably in the same situation as me, fighting somewhere. I can't let myself get scared now. Even if I'm here alone, everyone's thoughts are connected to me. I'm not alone. I won't lose to a soul enemy like you! I'll protect you, Yuito! I guess you can't handle things without me! Go, Yuito! We're gonna use this! 
Everyone's okay? I thought that'd be the case, but I'm sure you're relieved. I'm glad to see you're okay too, Yuito. The Incarnate is really causing some trouble with this. Thanks, Arashi! Don't get caught! Now that we're here, he won't be doing whatever he pleases. Right, Yuito? As long as we work together, we'll be fine. Yeah. I'm counting on all of them. With everyone by my side, I can be so much stronger. I can still punch. I'm going to get stronger. world. How could I? I refuse to accept it! Time. Kasane! I owe you, Kasane. You saved my life yet again. No problem. I mean, it does seem like I'm drawn to you whenever you're in a pinch. Always have been, right? So it seems. I will not fail! It's not just our power. It's all of our powers, working as a team! As one! Our bonds give us strength! in this world, and it is denied to me. Give up. You fought and lost. We're done here. You don't have to keep doing this, Karin. Yes, I do. I can still... <coughs> Karin! Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you, put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. <laughs> K 
Karen. The world is cruel, but you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then, that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunad Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunad Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use our Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. That shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. Will Yuito and Kasani's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use Arahabaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? I'll be right there. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. 
Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad gate. <laughs> Our Habaki is ready. Karin should be ready too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Ara Habaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you, but we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting our Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Ara Habaki. Focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. I've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right then. Do it! Karin! We trust you! If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos Terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now, finally, the last one. <laughs> Karen! I can't give up. Not after all these years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that... You're going... to sacrifice... your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Karin! Karin, I... What? 
This is... the red strings. But how? Beautiful. Does that mean we pulled it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin. Yeah. That flood of red we saw everywhere. That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means... By traveling into the past, I wonder if we... changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin. We won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. Beautiful. I wish you could see it.
Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fabuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice... It's you... Wait... If you're here... Then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? I don't know him. Do I? I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. I'll join you. Oh! Yuito! Sorry, am I late? Major General Fubuki isn't here yet. Well, let's hang out until everyone gets here. The weather's nice enough. These cherry blossoms are as beautiful as ever. Even though history changed, Seto and Nagi, their deaths weren't erased. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping for a miracle. But I guess I need to face reality. Anyway... How have you been feeling? I'm fine right now. I can still use my power, but thanks for your concern. You're always worried about other people. I think that's amazing. You're still the same. You always look for the best in people. What? That was sudden. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you took me in after my mistakes and showed me the right way. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to you too. You were always saving my butt. Also, I think you and the others guided me a lot too. So, I guess that means we found a path we could take together. I see. Maybe Yuito Platoon felt so nice because you were the one in charge. You could call it a family. I don't have any family left, but the warmth I felt in the Yuito Platoon was just like it. Family? <laughs> then I guess you'd be the oldest brother. <laughs> I'm basically the same age as Chairman Sumeragi. Oh, but your body is still young. <laughs> you decided to stop acting old. Uh, right. I still have a lot of life to enjoy. <laughs> Don't make it sound like a chore. You have to ease up. You're so serious. Oh, right. We should go to that gyoza place again. I registered an account on their app. You too? I actually registered on the app as well. Okay, let's go try out some of the new stuff on the menu next time. It seems that you and Kasane have something to do with the fact that we're the only people who realize that history has changed. When the world was altered, we were connected to Red Strings users through SAS. 
so we became observers as well. Well, it's all speculation. Regardless, that time travel power is incredibly strong. If history was going to change, it could have made someone else head of PR. Ugh, I'm beat. You do seem pretty busy lately. You're booked for constant interviews, so you don't have time to slack off. If you understand, then take over for me. I really am going to quit being the PR person, I mean it. You say that now, but the fact that you're going to keep working in the OSF means that you're worried about Major General Fubuki. Oh boy, you really do have some obsession about siblings. How many times do I have to tell you I don't care about my brother that much? Obsession? Well, I'm a younger brother, so maybe I want to dream. Are things not going well with former Chief Kaito? The thing about family and siblings is that you can't cut ties that easily, even if you hate them. And sometimes, those ties aren't cut when you thought they were. You know what I mean, right? So sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I see. Those are some grim prospects. Yours aren't as complicated as mine. So you should help out Major General Fubuki. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed? I think it's been tough for both Luca and your brother. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed, I think it's been tough for both Luca and your brother. Ugh, good grief. Are you trying to say that since you're a younger brother, you understand people who have older siblings who make their lives difficult? <laughs> well, more or less. I'm sure you didn't need me to point out that you and Major General Fubuki have a special bond. You're such a dreamer. We don't have anything like that. Besides, Fubuki isn't a kid. He decides how he wants to handle this history. I may be his sister, but it's not my place. I see. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's none of my business. You never change. You're frustratingly good-natured. You know, you should be worrying more about yourself. <laughs> really? But that is also your strength. It has to be exhausting, though. No, oh, don't worry. I don't plan on quitting the OSF for now. Fubuki isn't even part of my consideration. There's a lot of benefits to a stable job once you learn all the tricks to slack off. Okay, got it. You're staying because of Major General Fubuki. That's a relief. Good on you. So, you're going to pretend you didn't hear me. You might actually have what it takes to be a politician. It seems that you and Kasana... When the world was altered, we were connected, so we... A world where Alice is alive. This is what Karin wanted. Though, it is only in hindsight. What my brother did... I believe it was wrong, but I think I felt his thoughts for a moment at the end there. I don't agree with him, but for now I am trying to accept this world. By the way, did you have your brain examined? Yeah. My power was acquired, so they said I have a very high chance of losing it. I see. Don't look so down. I said I don't care about it. I'll be alright. You really are strong. I must bolster myself so I don't fall into despair. You climbed the mountain with me, so I can't look glum in front of you. You don't have to pretend to be happy. Karin was... I know. And I appreciate that. However, I want to push my limits here. The fact that my brother vanished is confusing. But whatever this world is now... I did have a brother. If this is the world my brother wished for, then I want to watch over it and be a part of it as well. I want to be strong for that. Stronger than him. Yeah. Even if Karin was the one who created this current timeline, it's up to us to create the future. Are you planning on retiring from the OSF? <laughs> Nothing gets past you. I've already put in my request. I'll be back to being a civilian after I take care of a few things. I can't stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Even if you didn't lose your power, I think you would have still chosen retirement. 
in order to protect this country differently from the OSF. You think so? You might be right. I realize that there are a lot of different ways to help people. Yes. We will both do what we can to create a better future. I want to use this given power to carry out my duties in the OSF. Even if it was given to me, I should use it to the fullest. I've come to terms with the many parts that make me who I am. You truly are a Septentrion. So reliable. I'll keep doing my best, too. We might be going about it differently, but I'm sure we're striving for the same future. Oh, it is important to maintain your physical health after your retirement if you're going to accomplish something significant. I can help you come up with a training regimen. <laughs> so that part of you hasn't changed. You really are amazing. Okay, don't make it too tough, though. I was thinking maybe I would apply for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. I want to see how people lived on the moon. Then maybe I'll sort of understand what Togetsu was trying to do. Telepathy probably won't reach here from the moon. I wonder if Wataru will cry because he misses me. I'm just joking. <laughs> Even without my power or SAS, I'm still connected to my brother and everyone else. It's like an ability that's more than a power. Blue sky is... beautiful. The sun feels warmer than before somehow. I'm sure the animals are happy the extinction belt is gone too. We have to put the hideout's potted plants outside sometimes. Kagura helps me with that. So... did you help with the hideout's plants? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I put them out, give them water and nutrients. Was that bad? No. I'm glad you took care of them, even with everything that's going on. It's because I took what you taught me seriously. The Spathophyllum buds are getting pretty big. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm just glad that they can bloom at the hideout. That's not it. I was glad to stay in your platoon. What? Oh, you mean when Major General Fubuki said he would reorganize us? Yes, I was a little worried then. Of course, I decided to stay in the platoon after some careful consideration. That decision was about parting with the OSF. I don't handle change very well. But you still came with us. Thanks. It was really reassuring when you decided to come. I need to thank you, too. You've given me so much courage. You became my friend and told me I can be who I am. Ah, you're making me blush. I barely did anything. I wish I could be in Yuito Platoon forever, but that won't happen, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't be able to stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. And besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. It's important to do what you want. It's a little unfortunate, but we'll still be friends, won't we? Of course we're friends. And student teacher. You're like the sun to me, Yuito. <laughs> what? Because plants need sun to grow. Even if you leave the OSF, I know you'll be working hard somewhere. That's enough to keep me motivated to grow. Then you're like the soil to me. The land, Earth. Even if we're not in the same place, let's do our best where we are. Let's have a competition to see whose flower will be prettier. I won't lose. It looks like the cryogenic sleep chamber stopped functioning when Babe went down. My old associates were taken into custody by the government. Well, they can't do anything without Babe anyway. I'm in a pretty bad spot too. Well, I guess it's obvious they're suspicious of me as well. 
There's also the thing with Chairman Sumeragi. I'm on release without indictment, hunting others for now, but... but I'll probably be arrested soon. I see. Don't look at me like that. I know you want to say I told you so. I want you to pay for what you did, but I don't feel smug about it. You're one of us. Even if you did some bad things. Don't you find it hard to live with that personality? I managed to make it to 16 like this, so no. <laughs> That's true. So what are your plans now? I'll retire. I won't be able to stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. Then come visit me if I get thrown in prison. I'd like to know how things are going and how Sugumi is doing. Okay. My brother might get caught too, so I can visit you when I visit him. Hey, am I just an afterthought? <laughs> I'm kidding. Besides, Major General Fubuki said that your sentence would be lighter because of everything you did to help. That's why instead of worrying about what will happen when you're caught, you should worry about what you'll do after. After that? I'm sure I'll be discharged from the OSF. I heard the Lunar Surface Survey Project will be going forward, so I'll probably help with... No, it's still a little too hard to go back home to the moon. I'll probably just stay here and clean up the Togetsu mess. I've been on Earth for a while, but I've done so much lying in my life. It might be good to finally live honestly for once. Then teach me about politics. Why me? Do I look like I'd be good at it? Weren't you the commander of the colonists? I looked it up after Kasane told me your real name. You're actually really good at politics. Aw, oh, man. It sucks to have so much information about you etched in history. Well, I'm tired living a life of lies. It might not be so bad being your tutor. The history we know only exists in our heads, right? I think we should make a memorial before our memories fade. I'm gonna write down the history that we lived in a historical novel. It'll just be fiction to the rest of the world, though. I'll need your help, too. Of course, I'll do everything I can to support you when you need as well. Just like always. Even if you quit the OSF, that won't change. This is just between us, though, okay? In this history, it wasn't Karin that started a rebellion with Seiron, but another OSF soldier. He's a known veteran, and I recognize his face. But I don't think he's an equal to Karin. However, history is taking almost the same path. It's something that's beyond human comprehension. Oh yeah, I heard you've been having some trouble. The crows are all over you. It's my family. Now that Kaito is out of the government, the press has turned on him and are just saying whatever they want. Since I was part of the operation that got rid of the extinction belt, they've been hounding me. It's the same with you, right? That's true. But you have the advantage of being a Sumeragi. Public opinion and the press just latch on to what's easy to understand. Most people don't try to see what's really going on. Oh, are you actually worried about me? That's not what I meant. I was just checking because it wouldn't be good if it got in the way of our missions. <laughs> I'm fine. It's not like I'm being chased around by the crows all day every day. Things will settle down eventually. Oh, but I might already be retired by then. I see. <laughs> if you retire, you'll be a civilian. Weak. You can sit and watch me climb the ranks. <laughs> you don't change, do you? Though you're right. I won't be able to fight the others anymore. I won't be able to go watch the thunderclouds outside the city like we did either. Apparently, New Himuka's climate changed after the extinction belt disappeared. Hmm? We might get a chance to see lightning up close again. I wouldn't be opposed to taking you. You can thank me later. <laughs> wow, conceited much? It would be nice to see them with you again. Yuito. Chairman Sumeragi, your father. This new history didn't change what happened to him. The sins of Togetsu didn't change either. I plan to atone for assisting them. 
I hope I can help with the dismantling of Togetsu as well. What are you going to do? I heard you were retiring, but what about after that? Oh, you heard already? Of course. I was the leader of Kyoka Platoon, so I'll hear things amongst the command. Right. For now, I'd like to do some studying. I also have to clean up the scandals around the Sumeragi name. Oh, then I might be able to help you, too. Huh? What do you mean? I also plan on retiring once things calm down. Since I'm testifying to what Togetsu did, it would only cause trouble if I stayed in the OSF. I see. I guess that's what it means to bring what Togetsu did to light. If I leave the OSF, there won't be anything tying me down anymore. I think I can also convey the efforts Chairman Sumeragi went through to protect New Himuka. But why? Even if you feel responsible for Togetsu, what my father did... Is Wakana being happy not a good enough reason? My mom? You mean when you were monitoring my mom? Yes. Chairman Sumeragi certainly took part in some inhumane activities. Even if it was allowed politically, he can't be forgiven. But that's not everything Chairman Sumeragi was. He got in the way of Togetsu. He was assassinated because he tried to protect New Himuka from Togetsu. I'm sure of it. The Chairman's merits and demerits should both be made public. That should be detailed in Togetsu's materials. I didn't think anyone would look at it that way. I'm glad. To be honest, I was a little depressed about it. Because some people say the Sumeragi family was controlling New Himuka for their own interests. My father and brother did some horrible things. That shouldn't be all. It should all be brought to light. I'll help you do that. Thanks. Even if it's the hard truth, I'll face it head on. Aunt Alice is really nice. But there are still times I just don't know what to say to her. Oh, my mom and dad left a message. They told me to invite you for dinner. Food tastes better when you eat with friends. <laughs> it's just like when we were little. Oh, I heard you put in your resignation. Yeah, I made up my mind. Once everything calms down and the OSF is back to business as usual, I plan to retire. So it's really true. Well, I'm sure there are so many things you still want to do. Do your best in your new life. I'll do my best in the OSF. I guess... We should both do our best. <laughs> I guess that's a good summary, but you're right. I mean, I feel safe leaving the OSF in your hands, Hanabi. <sighs> really? I'm not good enough to say that you can count on me, and there are so many obstacles I need to overcome. But I'm confident that I won't give up. I know. It's not easy trying to live up to your ideals, but I know you can do it. Thanks. Just watch. I'll prove I can. And I'll be watching you, too. Yeah. Oh, didn't you say you had something to tell me? I can't say yet. But be ready, because I will tell you someday. Once I become the person I want to be. What do you mean, be ready? I don't really understand. But I'll be waiting until you say it's time. Major General Fubuki is late. Maybe we should contact him. By the way, don't you want to talk to everyone? No, I'm good. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. 
We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here, little by little. All right, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? Yuito. How are your powers? There haven't been any big changes so far. I'll stay in the OSF a little while longer, then retire once everything calms down a bit. And after that? Well, I've got a lot on my mind in terms of what I want to do. It might sound conceited, but I want to change the world so duds like me have a place in it. I'd also like to face what my father and brother have done. I'm a member of the Sumeragi family, after all. And there's the other particles as well. Other particles? The extinction belt is gone. Yeah, but it's originally from space, right? It could appear again someday, since we didn't get it at the source. That's why I think we should study the other particles more closely, so we can eventually prevent, or even cure, metamorphosis. I had no idea you had so much on your mind. Does that mean you're going to get involved in politics? Sounds that way, huh? Although, I'm not really cut out to be a politician. Really? From what I've seen of you lately, I bet you'd be good at it. What, really? I don't know if it'll suit me, but I'm thinking about going to college. I want to study politics, and not because of who my dad was. I want to change New Himuka. You've made your decision too, haven't you? Yes. I've decided to go. There. To the moon. We'll be pretty far away from each other. But at least... I can always look up at night. Every one of us is born alone. But, even though we're alone, we can connect with each other. Where we are, doesn't really matter. Kasane? I... I'll keep living, no matter what. I won't let you get in the way! We're here because we've survived many battles. Remembering our experiences should help us. Run, youngster! Don't fail! <laughs> Time for stealth? Hmm? Come on! Just can't get 
underestimate Understood. me. Understood. You're going to listen to us. I won't accept it. No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin! Shut up! You're all so endlessly annoying! What? Karin? Karin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <laughs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You, this world, and still. You? Here they come! What the heck are these things? It looks like it appeared from Whitney's current. Maybe it's his memories or feelings materializing in the real world. Can the brain made something as ominous as that? I told all this. We did it. likely prepared for that outcome. Or rather, my brother thinks that even himself is just a pawn to reach his goal.
Please, Yumito. There's nowhere to run. Burn it.
Do not stand up. You can't take any more. <sighs> Karin. I won't. I won't let things end here! What is this? Everyone, be careful. Something's... What? Yuito! Anyone? SAS and Brain Talk are offline. Is this Karin's doing too? I'm going to save you, Alice. I promise! I'll figure out what's going on later. Everyone should be fine. They're probably fighting just like me. I can't break after coming this far. Yes. And now, I'll... I'm not like you. I won't erase the proof of all the hard work my sister went through in her life. As long as I remember her, she will live on. That's why I'm not alone. Don't tell me they got you! <laughs> Don't fail! So you're alright. I was worried about you. Alright, let's do our best! You were the one making everyone worried. Not like I was worried, though. Die. Can you handle it? Yours truly has arrived. It's okay, I'll... Oh? I'm taking this. You two have great timing. I know, right? We figured you were all lonely by yourself, so we came as fast as we could. I found you. And then, thanks to me, SAS connected. I'm sure everyone else is connected too. <laughs> Kasane, I'll protect Kasane. 
Goodness. Uh, Yuito. You're always saving my life, so I thought I should probably return the favor. Not like I was keeping track. But thank you. Time I will not fail. It's not just our power. It's all of our powers working as a team, as one. Our bonds give us strength. in this world and it is denied to me give up you fought and lost we're done here you don't have to keep doing this Karin yes I do I can still <coughs> Karin Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. 
Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you, put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Shut up! <laughs> Karen, the world is cruel, but you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. <sighs> so this is what they mean by... the end. Then, that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunad Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunad Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use Ara Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. There shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. <sighs> Will Yuito and Kasani's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use Arahabaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor?
I'll be right there. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad gate. <laughs> our Habaki is ready. Karin should be ready, too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Ara Habaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you, but we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting Ara Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Arahabaki. Focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. I've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right then. Do it! Karin! We trust you. If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos Terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now, finally, the last one. <laughs> I can't give up. Not after all these years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that... You're going... 
to sacrifice your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Corrin! Corrin, I... Beautiful. Does that mean we pulled it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin. Yeah. That flood of red we saw everywhere. That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means. By traveling into the past, I wonder if we changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin. We won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. Beautiful. I wish you could see it.
Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fabuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the Nuhimuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice... It's you... Wait... If you're here... Then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? Hmm? I don't know him... Do I? I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Go for superstitious <laughs> stuff like that. Go on. Ooh, let me guess. Oh, really this has to be fun. Wait, I'm going to the job. Oh well, yeah, I gave it my all. Sure, I guess I'll join you. Oh, Kasane! You're finally here. Sorry, am I late? It doesn't look like Major General Fubuki is here yet. Ugh, who does he think he is, keeping me waiting? Ooh, maybe I'll take a nap. It's not so bad for a loner like me, but for those of you with family and friends, it's tough to keep track of what changed and what didn't. The world left us behind. Saying it like that sounds pretty lonely. It's nice to have you guys to share these complicated feelings with, though. It's unfortunate that even though history was rewritten, Naomi and the others are still dead. Yeah, but she found a reason to live. I have to accept it and live myself. You are so strong. I have to keep working hard until I retire too. That's so you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I guess people will say I'm a stick in the mud. Well, even if I've started to age, there should still be some time before my power starts to weaken. I plan to do all I can in the OSF, until my superiors order me to retire. And after that... You're going to help create the new system, right? Yeah. Yuito said he wanted to change this country like I did. So I'm thinking I want to help him do that. I see. He must be happy about your support. You should think about treating him to your cooking sometime. I bet your skills have improved. Yeah, I've gotten pretty confident. I also expanded my repertoire. Although, I have to follow Naomi's recipes, or ones I found on the cooking database. Besides, I started a new hobby. Sugumi is teaching me how to garden. Sounds like you're living life to the fullest. I'm sure you'll find even more hobbies at this rate. I guess you won't have anything to worry about when you finally retire. <laughs> that would be good. By the way, I heard you were participating in the Lunar Surface Survey Project. Yes. People are probably suffering there like my sister did. I was surprised when I first heard. But a part of me also understood. It was so like you, 
Something really outside the box. I can't even imagine what challenges are waiting for you. But I'm sure you'll be able to get through them. Yes, I'm confident. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Go follow your heart. I'll be watching over you from down here. And I'll be watching over you from the moon. Karin traveling through time and Alice being alive. There has to be some sign of causality here. It's like an exaggerated butterfly effect. Trying to figure it out would be a waste of time. Frankly, it was a miracle. I hate saying something so illogical, though. What are you going to do? Me? I don't have any big plans. I'll just stay in the OSF and it'll be the same old, same old. I could just retire and sleep all day, but such a sudden lifestyle change sounds like a pain. Because you're worried about Major General Fubuki? Do you think I'd do something so illogical? Well, it's not like I don't plan to look in on him sometimes. I just don't want him to go messing around somewhere and have to go running to help him. That sounds like worrying. Well, you're free to interpret things that way if you want. Being stubborn will only expend needless energy. I want to increase the energy efficiency to coincide with Arashi version 2.1's official release. Now, if only I could put an end to keeping up that fake smile for the OSF's PR work. Uh, I want to go to the moon too. You heard I was going to the moon? Yeah, since I'm in charge of PR. Anyways, that's quite an idea leaving Earth. I have trouble just leaving the house. However, that's an interesting viewpoint. I'm a little interested in space development, especially zero gravity. Just floating effortlessly and sipping soda out of a straw? That's the dream. Even with version 2.1, you're still the same old Arashi. Enough joking around, Kasane. You chose a pretty hard path. Just try your best and promise you'll come back safely. Okay, I promise. So will you be updated to your next version by the time I come back? Hmm. I didn't even think about it, but that's possible. I don't know what the future holds. Well, let's just say you'll have to wait and see when you come back. Perhaps the reason we know that history has changed is because we were connected to you via SAS. Due to some effect of the Red String's power, we weren't affected by the change. Thanks to that, my brother will not be forgotten. Regardless of the outcome, I think that was good. You were worried about losing your power. Has anything changed? There is no change currently. Though I am sure that like Yuito, the possibility of losing my power is still present. I don't feel as uneasy or impatient as I did before, though. And I did have you to listen to me. I'll do what I can now. I'll fulfill my duty as an OSF soldier and slowly change this country. A country where being a dud is in a disadvantage. Yes. Think of it as an offering to my brother's memory. I was suffering in secret, just like my brother. Worrying about what could happen because I was a dud. Should I say condolences about Karin? I haven't been able to really accept what's happened yet. Me neither. I'm still coming to terms with this new world. It's such a strange feeling. We're the only ones left from before the timeline change. You're right. The entire world changed without us. That's not something that happens every day. I once said that my brother is possessed by powers. Perhaps in the end, my brother was manipulated by the tremendous power of the Red Strings. Or perhaps my brother was happy to fulfill his wish using that power. I don't know, but he probably doesn't have any regrets. He doesn't seem like the type. Yes, that is how he was. I won't forget about Karin. Thank you. Karin talked to me a few times when I was a cadet. He was so nice, too. At the time, I wondered 
Why me? There's nothing special about me. I finally understand. It was because I look so much like Aunt Alice. You know a lot about Seiron City, right, Kasane? We should go sometime. I want to learn about cities other than Suo. Like, what kind of people live there and the lives they lead. Sure. I don't know too much, but I can show you around. Thanks. So, when would be good? We should probably do it soon. Why? Well, I heard that you're joining the project that's going to the moon. Then you know. The planning and preparations will take time, so it's not like I'm leaving right away. I realized that you were going somewhere, but I didn't think it'd be the moon. I was just so surprised how far ahead you're thinking. I think it's a really amazing decision. It's not that amazing. I'm just doing what I want to. That's what makes it amazing! I mean, we're talking about the moon. It's really far away. Do you think it's reckless? No. I already told you before. I'll always have your back. No matter what path you decide to take. I mean, we're friends! Distance doesn't matter between friends. Even if it's from the Earth to the Moon. Thank you. I feel so much better knowing that you're cheering me on from Earth. And I'll be cheering you on from the Moon. I know you'll be able to tell Yuito how you... Dad! Don't say it out loud! Really? I think it's important. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, but if you say you're going to be cheering me on from the Moon, I'll get embarrassed every time I look up at it. You're strange, Hanabi. What? That goes for you, too. Even if it's just a little at a time, if we can reduce the number of others, then we'll be able to walk around outside more freely. I'm sure that there are lots of forests and fields of flowers I haven't seen in the world. Someday, I'd like to look for places like that. I bet there are plants I've never seen on the moon, too. That's probably true, but why? Are you planning to go to the moon? No, you. I heard you were going to the moon. Oh, so you knew. Not right away, but that's my plan. So... It's true. I won't be able to have tea and talk with you face to face once it happens. Can I ask why? Did you hear about metamorphosis happening on the moon? If people there are suffering like Naomi, I don't want to idly watch from the sidelines. I actually thought I wanted to go to the moon too. But when I talked to Kagura about it, he told me absolutely not. He really cares about you. I'm sure he's just worried. Yeah. But this whole time, I had regrets. I was shocked when Naomi transformed in front of me. I couldn't do anything. It's not like me going would change anything. And a change in environment really makes me anxious. But still... Still, you wanted to go to the moon to help someone. Yes. Besides, I'm also interested in moon vegetation. If you're serious about it, then you'll be able to convince Kagero. Besides, it'd be reassuring to have you come with me. It was so easy when we teamed up for my first training exercise back when I joined the OSF. Yes. It was easy for me, too. Because you were so confident for a rookie. I'm going to try to convince Kagero. I mean, I don't really need to. He should understand once he realizes I'm serious. Yes. Let's go together. I'll help you collect moon plants. That would be great. I've seen many generations these past 2,000 years, but there hasn't been one quite as shocking as this. Well... I suppose it won't be that bad to be buried in this era. It looks like Togetsu's cryogenic sleep device is stopped too. So I guess that means I need to be awake and live. 
Well, I'm destined to go to prison. At least I'll have work to absorb me until then. Yeah, you should make up for what you did. I'm prepared for that. Anyway, I hear you're going to the moon? Yes. I suppose the moon is your home. Do you want to go back? Hmm. I don't think so. That feeling is gone. So, you don't have any connection to it now? That's complicated too. I linger over it sometimes. Like, I want to know what happened to my family. I know they're not alive anymore. There might not even be any trace of them. Even so, I want some clue. Maybe I want to see what kind of lives the two of them led, and what the moon is like now. Then you should come to the moon too. And abandon the responsibility of what I did here? <laughs> I can't do that. That's too selfish. You can come after you pay for your crimes. I'd feel reassured if I knew you were coming eventually. That's unexpected. Do you really rely on me that much? No, I just think Shin Daniel's knowledge would be useful. So, I'll be waiting for you on the moon. You can be surprisingly kind sometimes. I hope my Sugumi grew up to be like that. Your Sugumi? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. Don't tell anyone. It's awkward. My daughter's name is Sugumi. Her hair was a lot like yours. I see. That's why you were so pushy about our date. I always wanted to go somewhere with my daughter when she was grown. Well, the only part of you that's like her is your hair. Because I'm sure my daughter grew up to be a much kinder, stronger, smarter, and well-behaved individual. Like our Sugumi? Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I was first drawn by her name, but that was just the start. I know she's not my daughter. I like our Sugumi for who she is. She's a really good girl. She'd be glad to know that. So, what are you going to do? Are you coming to the moon? I think I'll leave the preliminary surveying to you while I do my time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Fine, but I'll put you to work when you finally get there. You're gonna join the Lunar Surface Survey Project too, right, Kasane? I wonder if my power will reach the moon. It probably won't, though. I actually run an OSF fan site, so I want to post news about you on the moon. It's not just you, though. I want to post updates and share with everyone on the net about all the people that go there from the OSF. I got it. What if you write some kind of lunar diary while you're there? Then we can turn it into a book. I'll help. of applying for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. There's so much drama hanging out with you. You're so eccentric. <laughs> I was only logistical support here, so I hope I get out there together with you on the moon. I like getting exercise. I'll have your back too. Let's do our best. It looks like the new Himuka government is dismantling the Togetsu faith. The design children there will probably be dealt with too, as they should be. I hope that the information Togetsu has can help this country's future. That also includes my knowledge. However, I think the moon is the best place for my knowledge to be put to use. Because you have Dr. Pope's knowledge? Yes. Also, Dr. Pope was from there. I hope I can use this knowledge to help the moon. These memories have given me a hard time, but if they can be of use, maybe they're worth it to pay my debts. Debts? It brought you so much grief. I think it'll be good to get revenge on the moon. <laughs> yes, but one of the reasons I was born was to carry on these memories. Also, lately I've started thinking that Dr. Pope's memories are a part of me too. Maybe I've had a change of heart. I see. I'm glad. It's thanks to you that I could think this way. Thank you for giving me a chance at a second life. You chose this life yourself. It's not like I created it for you. If you hadn't faced the Togetsu remnants with me, I'm sure I would still be a prisoner to my past. So I wanted to repay you. I mean, this is what I really wanted. I don't know if I'll get permission since I used to be a Togetsu spy. 
I put in a request to join the Lunar Surface Survey Project. If they allow me, I'll be able to look after you. I can take care of myself. No, I might have you help me with something other than cooking, if you want. Oh, that makes me so happy! I'll be sure to bring you plenty of charms! that if history changed and Alice was alive, maybe Captain Seto was too. But we weren't so lucky. He's gone. I feel like I understood Karin just a little for a moment. But I wouldn't want to do the same thing. I heard you were going to the moon. Yes, that's right. How selfish. <laughs> I'll be glad to have you gone. You've had me running all over the place. What are you going to do, Shiden? Don't ask questions you know the answer to. I'm staying in the OSF, so they have to recognize my strength. I thought you'd stopped worrying about what other people think. <laughs> I'm not worried about what other people think. I want to have more of a voice in the OSF. The fighting between Seiron and Suo hasn't completely died down yet. The cities will need to continue improving their relationship. I don't want bloodthirsty idiots who don't know anything giving me orders. Well, you surprisingly put some thought into this. I figured you were only interested in making yourself stronger. Of course I still want to be stronger. But that won't be enough to beat you. I thought you were like me. But then you said you wanted to go to the moon. I've started to look at the big picture as well as the future because... I don't want to lose to you. That wasn't my intention, but it's good to have a broad perspective. Besides... You might finally gain the composure you need to lead a platoon. <laughs> You're looking down on me again. Ah oh, well. You should know that I'm going to beat you one of these days. Maybe not now, but one day. So you can't just leave without a rematch. Okay, we'll meet again. I, I, did, I didn't say I wanted to see you, but, but I'm also not saying I don't. Major General Fubuki is a little late. Maybe I should contact him. By the way, do you want to talk to the others? No, it's fine. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense, since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here, little by little. All right, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? 
I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? Kasane. I heard that you're leaving. That you're going to the moon. Yes. It's something I've been thinking of ever since we heard about it in Togetsu. If the people there are suffering from metamorphosis, then there might be something I can do to help them. What if we can control the other particles by using New Himuka's metamorphosis technology? Wouldn't that be ironic? I'm glad to hear a lot of people will be helping you. Honestly, I half expected you to try to do it alone. I would if I had to. It won't be a problem. Even if I'm alone. Yeah, you're right. We're alone. Maybe that's just part of being alive. But we're still connected. No matter how far we go. Yuito, what'll you do now? I figure I'll stay in the OSF a little bit longer. After that... <sighs> who can say? I'd like to make a society where powers don't decide your fate. And I need to deal with my family's... actions. Changing the world is definitely a tall order. I know it'll take more than just talk. Don't forget, we saved the world. We already did the hard part. That's why. It's up to you to protect this place. <sighs> right. I've got this.